So today I'm going to focus on the first kata in Shorin Ryu, in which we called Fu Gara Ichi. Now, with the practical way that I'm going to show today, we call it dynamic karate. It can be applied to any kind of style, whether it's Shito Ryu, Goju Ryu, Weichi Ryu, or whatever style, even Shotokan. Now, why do I say that? Because your body is the same regardless of what style. You still have to use your legs and your arms. But the most important thing is when you execute, how is that you are going to transfer the power through your legs and out to your fist? Here we go. So the first kata we're gonna focus on today, Fu Gara Ich. So I'm going to have my student demonstrate Fu Gara Ich. And she's gonna do it in a practical, in a, in a practical way the way that we, or how we practice in order for us to learn how to generate, generate power, right? So she's still uh, going to do the same routine, uh, the same uh, direction as the intended kata, but we are taking this to another level to make it as realistic as possible, all right? And after she will demonstrate that I'm going to explain where she generate the power and how we transition from each move, you right? Ay, ni, sun, chi, go, rook, sichi, ay, ku, ju, ay, 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 ni, sun, chi, go, rook, ay, hai, ay, ay, so. So here's I get a lot of questions from comments below that uh, people were asking, why is that when we do our kata, you hear a lot of snapping, but the snapping is not from the gi, but it's from coming uh, from slapping our bodies. Here is the explanation. If you do the traditional way, your sensei will tell you to have the chamber arm up here in your shoulder, okay? While your shoulder will be squared and you punch this way. And I do believe this is a very solid punch, right? And, and very solid up here and also solid here. And the interpretation being that while you're putting this elbow back, you are elbowing someone back here as well as punching someone here. So when you go together, you're punching and elbowing at the same time. Look, if you wanna believe that's the case, fine by me, you believe what you want. But I want you to start thinking, is that practical? Are you going to punch someone here and elbow someone at the same time? In my lifetime, I have never gotten into that kind of fight before where I was able to punch the guy in the front and the guy in the back, right? So that's to let you know whatever that's being preached to you, just think twice. If you believe in it, good for you. I particularly don't. And this is the reason why we do not bring up to our shoulder, our, our, our armpit. Why? It's because once you open up to your armpit, what happens is your body becomes uh, restricted. This is too tight. When, you're, when your bicep is being too tight, physics does not allow this to being punched this way, okay? So in our style, in order to generate power, your abs needs to be compressed. And when your abs is compressed, what happens is your lats are taken over, right? Your lats are being expanded. And when your lats is expanded, therefore, you have, uh, you have what is called a uh, stable position. Um, I, I wish you can, you can feel my lats, but uh, when this is being tense, then at impact, it allows you to straighten your arm and not sending it back where your shoulder is being dislocated. If your lats is strong at impact, you go with it, okay? But this has to be down here. Because once you go up here, it, 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 it disengage all the tension here. And if it's disengaged, you cannot generate power. Therefore, you have to bring it down here. Now, where's the sound coming from? As we punch like this, as we punch like this, again, we don't want our elbow to be farther away from our body. When it's out from our body like this, what happens is now you only generate power based on your shoulder, uh, your shoulder, okay? In order to generate power using your entire body, your elbow has to be close to your body, right? I particularly do not like to wear gi when I do my kata 
right? Because let's talk about practical uh, karate. If you do get involved in a fight, you don't say, hey, hold on a second, let me go home, put on the gi. You better learn how to fight with just your shirt, okay? So practice using your shirt and you no, no longer have to hear the sound, okay? But the rubbing like this, it's coming from rubbing on the gi, therefore generating that, that sound, okay? All right, next is how to put this kata into application, okay? So fugara itch is basically uh, two sequence. So you have a low block, and then you have a reverse punch, and then the other one is you have a high block and a reverse punch. Okay, everyone, so what you just saw was a way that our style on how we perform fugarich and that pretty much transpired to all 18 katas that we do in Matsubayashi. Like I said earlier, can any style incorporate this? I think all style should incorporate this because at the end of the day, it's all about how you engage your body together in order for you to execute an effective move, right? And what is an effective move? Is a move that you end up not hurting your body. You want to hit an object and you send your energy with the object, not hit the object and then the energy comes back to you and you end up absorbing the force, right? So with this video, it's an introduction on how we use our body and I'm gonna start making more videos with the advanced kata, like Fugara Ni, all the way up to the Pinans kata, the Black Belt kata, all the way up to Kusanku. If you have any questions, please put down the comments, please subscribe, that's gonna help me make more videos like this. And at the end of the day, it's about how you improve as a karateka, because I do believe that in order for us karate, karate people to excel to another level, we have to accept what we do. And instead of incorporating MMA, jiu-jitsu, Aikido, and stuff like that, those stuff belongs to them. Our stuff is karate. So our stuff is about punching and keeping our punches and making, uh, making them effective. So if you wanna make them effective, focus on karate. I've seen people who add throws, this and that, and I'm gonna have all that too in, in, in my videos, but that's something else that I want to explain. Have a good one.